morning, 4K friends. It's Mrs. Saplina. Let's start our day with a fist bump. Excellent. Take a peek at our schedule over here. We're going to start with our morning meeting today. We will update calendar. For math today, I have a story read aloud, and we will end with word work. Um, our letter for review today is the letter E, and um, we have an experiment for you in the lesson plan, so hopefully that's something that you can make today. Um, I believe, yes, yeah, silly putty today with your grown-up for the experiment for the letter E. All right, let's start with our morning song. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. I'm so glad you're here. Awesome, boys and girls. Hey, we haven't said the Ben Franklin Statesman Pledge in a while. Let's see if you can remember the words. Today I represent Ben Franklin Elementary. I will be respectful. I will be responsible. I will be safe because I am a statesman. Excellent. Let's sing our group time job song so that I know everybody's attention is focused and we're following the group plan. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet. Bodies come. This is how we listen. This is how we listen at group time. At group time. Excellent. All right, months of the year, are you ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, let's uh, move a, each of these one hop. We know that tomorrow will be Friday. So that makes today Thursday. And yesterday was our Zoom Wednesday. I hope you all enjoyed the dance party we had. Sing with me. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Wednesday, tomorrow will be Friday, all day long, all day long. We need to talk about the letter E. E is our review letter of the day. Do big E and little E look the same? They do not. No, not a letter that looks the same. You can go ahead and take E off of your alphabet if you have it hanging up at home. I'm going to cover up mine with a pattern piece. What pattern piece do I need after my tub toy turtle? Remember, my pattern is an A, B, C pattern. I have rubber duck, sailboat, turtle. What comes after the turtle? If you said rubber duck, you are correct. We start the pattern over when we get to the turtle. Rubber duck. Say it with me. Rubber duck, sailboat, turtle. Rubber duck, sailboat, turtle. Rubber duck. Excellent job, friends. All right. Let's count and see how many days until William's birthday. I'm so curious. William must be very excited to be having a birthday soon. Let's count. One two, three, I hope you're all counting with me, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen days until William. 
as his birthday. So exciting for you, William. All right, friends, let's move on with today's lesson. As I said for the letter E, your job today is to do an experiment at home. Sink and float this week was also an experiment. So if you did that, that was an experiment. You were trying to figure out if things sunk or float. Your experiment today is to make silly putty and play with it. So your grown up will definitely have to help you with that. Like I said, you can take down your letter E. You can open your sound book to lowercase e and your grown up will help you with the picture names that are inside of the letter E. And remember when we're listening for the sound E makes, it says eh, eh, like eggs and elephant and envelope. Sometimes E says its name, like ear. So listen for that sound too. E is one of those letters that does make two sounds. We mostly talk about eh, 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 eh for elephant, but E sometimes says its name, E for ear. Awesome. All right, my friends, uh, for math today, we have a story and then I'm going to show you a subtraction equation. So we will talk about that in a moment. So in math this month, um, we are talking about counting and playing with ducks and bats. My story is called how many toys in the tub? How many do you see in there right now? I just see one rubber ducky. Michaela likes to take all of her bath toys into the tub. Her little brother Jaden likes to play at tub time too. Michaela, it's bath time. Okay, mom, I'll get my bath toys ready. Don't take too long. Your little brother still needs a bath. I won't. Let's see. First, the rubber duckies. Mom, Jaden threw his ball at my ducks. He's wrecking everything. Oh, Jaden, don't do that. Okay, first the rubber duckies and then the boats. Do you guys see she has rubber duckies and boats? Uh-oh. What's flying into the picture? Jaden's ball. Mom, he did it again. He's making a big mess. Jaden, stop now. I mean it. Okay, first the rubber duckies, then the boats, then the paddle toys. Michaela, are you in the tub yet? Just about, Mom. I have to get everything ready. Well, hurry up. It's getting late. And there she is in the tub with all of her toys. All right, friends, how many rubber duckies do you see? I see three. One, two, three. So I'm going to write an equation about the duckies. I'm going to start with three rubber duckies, just like Michaela. And today we're going to learn about a new sign in math. We already know this sign. Does anyone remember what it's called? Plus sign. That's when we're adding things together. Does anybody remember what this sign is called? Yep, it's called an equals sign. That means how many all together? Today we're gonna learn about a sign that looks like this. It's just a little horizontal line and it's called a takeaway sign or a minus sign. This is what we use when we take things away. So if Michaela started out with three ducks in the bathtub and Jaden's ball bounced in and two of them went out of the bathtub. So she started out with three, two of them 
flew right out of the bathtub. How many were left in the bathtub? Watch my fingers. I'm going to do it on my fingers. So there were three rubber duckies in the bathtub. Two of them went away. How many were left in the bathtub? How many fingers does Mrs. Saplina have left? Just one. So we know that three, take away two, gives you one left over. Three, take away two, equals one. Let's try it again with her sailboats. Let's take a look at Michaela's boats. How many boats do you see in the bathtub? I spy two boats, green one and a red one. Two boats in the bathtub. Her mom takes away one. How many sailboats would be left in the bathtub? Let's try it on our fingers. If we had two sailboats in the bathtub and mom took one away, how many are left? If you said one, you are correct. Great job. You can practice some stories like that at home with your grown up today. And it works best if you have some real objects to use while you're doing that. For example, if Mrs. Saplina said she had three rubber duckies and Mrs. Hansen took two away, how many rubber duckies do I still have in my hand? Just one. All right. Works well with four and five year olds when you actually have things to take away. All right, our last item today is our word work. So go ahead and take out those puppy paws. I know I have mine ready. Mine are always ready. Here we go. Tail, mail. Your turn. These words rhyme. Pause out. Not get. That one was tricky. These words do not rhyme. All right, pause out. So then. These words don't rhyme. Good job. Ready? Farm, charm. These words rhyme. Pause out. Wife, knife. These words rhyme. Excellent. Let's do another set. Pause out. Mouse, house. These words rhyme. Pause out. Hut, hut. These words rhyme. Pause out. Knife, there. These words don't rhyme. Good job. Pause out. Tail, yes. These words don't rhyme. Last set, did, hid. These words rhyme. Excellent job today on word work. Next, I want you to be listening for the beginning sound. I will say and swipe two words. They start the same. I want you to chop and tell me the beginning sound. So listen to the first sound I say. Tail, toy, t. Knife, nurse, n. Dig, deer, d. Your, year, y. Bear, ball, b. Great job. I have another set. Fair, fast, game, goal, g. 
Jeep Juice Jump Kid Key Cup Note Night N. Great job. All right, continuing with our rhyme this week, Three Blind Mice. Do you guys think you can say it with me? Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut off their tails with a carving knife. Let's try it one more time. Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife cut off their tail with a carving knife. Conclusion tomorrow. All right, friends, have a great Thursday and I will see you back here tomorrow.